Ryan's got a stubborn reputation. I doubt asking nicely is going to work. We'll have to find a more persuasive means of getting what you want out of him. He's probably close to his office. We should start there. Hey, have you been in the chair already? Yes, but I signed right away. Mr. Rothwild didn't even have to turn it on. I don't believe you. No, it's true. Is he calling you a liar? That's what it sounds like. I'm gonna teach you to respect me. That went a little deep. It was only supposed to scare him. Oops. Well, he did look scared. Just at the end there. <laughs> Break's over, looks like. When's this day gonna end? <laughs> Marked for shipment to the most distant point of the Empire. And fitted for live cargo, too. Survivable. If they had a fast ship. I wonder who this was meant for. You box somebody up in that thing and they won't be back in town for months. says he trussed up three whales in himself. one day when he was a gaffer. What do you say? Maybe. So, what do those idiots want, anyway? Well, they think they don't get treated fairly, because they can get fired for refusing to do dangerous work. What? What dangerous work? We're the ones that do the dirty stuff around here. Maybe we need to be organizing, huh? Hey, that's not funny. You say that again, even as a joke, and you're whale meat. Yeah, sure. I'm just saying. Stop listening in on that Abigail Lames tricky talk. She'll corrupt you. No, no. My head's clear. I know which side my bread's buttered on. I'll be glad when we get the order to get rid of her. It's only a matter of time. Can't feel my feet. Must be about time to knock off. Shift interrogation chair. Rothwild must be using it to coerce employees.
creatures grew three, four bloody floor. Not so tough in back. What's he doing here? Natural philosopher. Uh, he ain't here now. Comes down some nights to study the whales. Where the oil comes from. Why does he have to go taking everything apart? The whales are the mystery of our time. Are you joking? We've got the art pylons now. We've got walls of light. We'll have the plague cured in no time. I miss the old days. That cursed bastard Corvo changed everything.
I bet it's easier than a knife. You think this crap with the strike will blow over soon? Why you gotta talk so much, huh? <laughs> are still on tonight. What shall we do with you, Miss Ames?
How long? How much does he know by now? Ramsey? No, this is about the workers. This is about fair pay and safe conditions. Don't bother. You're not the first of his moles I've caught. What happened, Abigail? I trusted you. Extra elixir rations, bags of coin as bonuses. But you're about to see that my generosity is counterbalanced by a very inhumane side. Mr. Rothwild, Bundry. Don't call me that. That privilege is lost to you. You don't know, Ramsey. When he comes for me, he'll kill you. He'll gut you like the street filth you are, and feed you to the rats. Ah, uh, now it comes out. No one is coming. I've broken your strike, and my butchers are the finest fighters in Dunmore. Miss Ames, you're about to find out a few things I learned when I was a gaffer. I can do things that don't even hurt at first. This conversation is going to last a long, long time. You're going to fight me. I can tell. This is going to be fun. Is anyone... I know you. Dowd. You're the knife of Dunwall. Well, Dowd, what do you want with me? I'm not here for you. I'm here to learn about a ship called the Delilah. Did the Lord Regent send you? That old fool, Hiram Burroughs. I know all about the Delilah. All of it. And I can give you exactly what you want. Please do. Not so fast. I need something from you in exchange. That's what I thought. What? We're both professionals, Mr. Dowd. I was hired to get these gutless workers striking, which I did very nicely, and then destroy the slaughterhouse itself. That's where I got caught, and that's where I need your help. How? The whale oil in those tanks out there is enough to destroy this entire place, the important industrial bits especially. Just open all the valves at once to let the oil start flowing. The pressure will go out of control and boom. What about the people inside? Growing a conscience? The factory workers are already out. My boss will hire them on, in better conditions than they'd ever see here. Not the butchers, though. They can die screaming for all I care. Don't try and con me. Wouldn't dream of it. Here's the key. Don't get caught. You take care of the slaughterhouse, and I'll tell you everything I know about the Delilah. You know... I could put you in Rothwild's interrogation chair myself. Why should I bargain with you? Because it's a long and messy solution. And I'm gambling you're not the kind of man who likes that. Make a deal with me, and I can tell you what you want, and pay you for your trouble. I'll consider it.
that song the old behemoth sings. It looks right at me when I sit here to have my nightcap. Yeah, look at me. A fly next to you, but I'm your master, ain't I? Killed a hundred of your kind and I'll kill a thousand more before I'm done. Drain you, then feed you to my butchers. The mournful cries of the whales don't touch that lot. No, sir. They don't have hearts, I think. But by the outsider, I think I still have a small one. Shriveled and blackened as it may be. Yes, sing me a lullaby while I have another drink. Sing. Think this crap with the strike will blow over soon? No. I'll make sure you get to enjoy this. What do you want to know that's worth crossing a man like me? I want to know about a ship named Delilah. What's behind the name? Choke on your own spit. <laughs> Who is Delilah? Ha! Think I'll give up a friend at the first tickle? That's the kind of thing I pay your sister for down at the Golden Cat. We'll feed you through your own factory. See if we can get oil out of your blubber. You know your work, I'll give you that. We can talk this out, I businessman. Why did you name it Delilah? What do you care? And it wasn't me. The previous owner named it after some sweetheart as a painting. Piss off! Yeah! Who was the previous owner? Barrister Timps, all right? The story. Delilah was a woman he knew. Grew up working in Dunwall Tower. And got kicked out. Became a painter. Funny airs, like proud. She caught his eye, but it was worse than that. He couldn't think of anything else. Just her. She whirled into his mind somehow. He built that ship for her. A lot more. Gave her half his fortune. Then he got scared. Came to me afraid. Man, like that, afraid. He wanted to dump the ship, and I needed a business partner, so we made a deal. Meant to change the name. Wish I'd done it. I hope that was satisfying. Here's the room key. When you're ready to go. Sir, earlier I spotted crates bound for the most remote corner of the Empire. Might be worth stuffing him in one, just to tie things off. He doesn't seem the type to forgive, of course. Why go through all the trouble when a blade to the neck would accomplish the same thing?
Whiskey and cigars. <laughs> you ever think about anything else? You better believe it. One, what two, is that? Soldiers crew. Three, four, bloody floor. Could be rats, I guess. Attention. Under plague conditions, failure to report for work at industries deemed vital to state interests has been declared treasonous by the Lord Regent. About the shrines. Tell me about the blood rituals you perform there. Where did you learn such a profane practice? No poison tooth this time. No suicide needles. You're going to stay and chat with us. Others and I can keep this up. Can you? Just one secret, and we'll ease up. You've got long fingers. Delicate. Almost like a woman's. I bet they break easy. Looks like it hurts. That looks like it hurts. We'll meet again. You think you're being quiet? We'll find you. Get up. Let's go. I'm worried they sent for the hounds.
This is a reminder that collective bargaining in any industry deemed vital to the state is a capital offense. These metallurgy, whale collection and refinement, security services, and selected legal and clerical. These are bad. Could the city get any worse? Chances are very good. I'm still trying to figure out why you let the Empress's bodyguard go. And now Rothwild's snug in a box. What's got into you? Barrister Timsh lives up in the legal district. I know it pretty well. From what I hear, the Timsh family is practically at war with itself. Talk to his niece Tali if you can. I should probably tag along when you go. Crazy rich people are buying up a lot of that Sokolov security technology these days. Keeps the weepers and looters out. I might be useful. Let's go. As a young girl, Delilah was a baker's apprentice in Dunwall Tower. Years later, a painter in Sokolov Circle. Barrister Arnold Timsch paid her to paint portraits. Him, I knew. A nobleman, born rich. And now he was making a second fortune, seizing the assets of played victims for the Lord Regent. But Barrister Timps was also fighting a private war with his own niece. Something to do with the family fortune. Lurk was probably right. We needed to speak with the niece first. Her feud with the old barrister was something we could use. I got a message to the barrister's niece. And she claimed to know things about Delilah that no one else did. But the knowledge would have a price. I wasn't surprised. I went to meet her.
They say that ship was sold to Rothwell cheap by one of his business partners, a barrister, Arnold Tinch. They'd planned to sell a portion of the whale oil on the black market, instead of giving it to the Lord Regent. Treason. Would that be why you're here? My reasons are my own. The black market doesn't concern me. Because that's only half the story. Arnold Timps sold that ship to Rothwild because he was afraid of its namesake. Timps fell in love with a painter named Delilah. It was the scandal of the season. That shrunken old ledger acting like a giddy schoolboy over a nobody. A former serving girl from the Unwall Tower. Let me guess. It didn't end well. It never does. But there's a mystery to this one. Something happened that frightened him very much. He dropped her overnight and sold the ship for a quarter of what it's worth. And Barrister Tinch is not a man who scares easily. If you want to know more, you'll have to ask him yourself. But I very much doubt he'll tell you. I guess we're done here. I'll meet you outside.